Hi guys, welcome back to another episode in the mini project. Last time you saw me talking about the subframes and what I was going to do to get those prepared and rebuilt. Now you might remember I said I was going to get them shot blasted and powder coated. Well, plans have changed a little bit. Hold tight. So I live in something of a one horse town and as such there's only one firm that can shot blast and repowder coat large parts like these subframes. Despite numerous calls and even sending images of the subframe to them by email, because you know, not everyone knows what a subframe looks like apparently, the company I would have liked to have blast and recoat these parts has gone completely quiet on me. So in the interest of keeping things moving, it's time to get on and do it myself. I do have a total loss sandblaster at the workshop, however the setup time and the ultimate mess created puts me off using it, so instead, and as these subframes are in fantastic solid condition, my plan is to strip them back to bare metal using a wire wheel. Then I'll coat them with a chemical agent to deter rust, and once that's dry I'll etch prime the frames ahead of laying down several coats of stone chip. Admittedly this won't give me the smooth gloss look that I'd originally wanted, but it will protect the subframes and keep them in great condition for years to come, and ultimately that's what I'm after, a solid, protected and future proof mini. This car will never enter a concourse show, so I think the stone chip finish will do the job just fine. As you can see, I've opted to start with the rear subframe as this is already stripped down. Once this is in stone chip and drying, I'll tackle the teardown of the front subframe before giving it the same treatment. You may also notice in this video that these subframes still have a lot of the original preservative wax on them, which is awesome, and I don't like removing originality, but there are one or two areas where the wax has flaked over the years and surface rust has formed. The only proper way to sort this is to completely strip and recoat the entire frame. Now that the rear subframe has been taken back to bare metal, I wanted to apply a chemical inhibitor. This is sort of a belt and braces approach, so I will be applying an etch primer ahead of stone chip, but where minis are concerned, I don't think you can have too many rust preventative measures. Once that inhibitor has thoroughly dried, I give the whole subframe a wipe over with some thinners ahead of etch priming it. I won't bore you by showing you the whole process here, but the subframe was flipped over when dry and all surfaces properly coated with primer. With that primer stage done, it's time to lay down the stone chip. Again, I won't show you the whole process on this subframe, but it was a case of coating everything I could from one side, letting it dry for 24 hours, and then flipping it over to do all angles from the other side of the part. As mentioned before, this isn't the glossy finish I had originally envisaged, but I'm actually really happy with how the stone chip has gone down. Now, it's time to strip that front subframe.
front subframe now stripped, it's outside to be taken back to bare metal so I can repeat the process you saw on the rear. The keen eyed among you will have noticed that this is the original subframe for the automatic setup. However, as it's in such solid condition, I've decided to run with it and use adapters, as the plan right now is to install that Stage 2 1275A series motor I showed you in Episode 1. That way, I can get the car back on the road ASAP and make a decision on a big power conversion down the line. The preparation process for the front subframe is exactly the same as what you saw on the rear. However, as there's much more of that original protective wax present here, the first stage is removing that with a blowtorch and a plastic scraper. After that, it's back to the wire wheel to take this subframe back to bare metal. Now that the inhibitor is set, it's time to etch prime and stone chip the front subframe, but as there are a lot more nooks and crannies to get into, I've enlisted the help of our trusty Ford front loader to keep the subframe suspended, allowing me to get into all the recesses. Right guys, so that's it. They are the subframes finished. As I said, it's not the finish I had in mind. I want them to be a nice smooth gloss black, courtesy of the uh, the powder coater, but of course that hasn't happened. So, as I said earlier in the video, in the interest of just getting things done, I've done it myself. So, you've seen the process they've been through. They've been taken back to bare metal. Uh, they've had an inhibitor put on them, they've had etch priming, and then they've had several coats of stone chip. And as I say, the finish isn't what I was had in my mind originally and wasn't what I was after, but I'm pretty happy with how it's gone down to be honest. As I say, this Mini isn't going to be a concourse example up on mirrors at a show. Um, I just wanted it to be fully, fully treated, rust-proofed and future-proof. And I think this, this uh, solution is, is going to sort that. So I'm pretty happy with how they've come out. Um, they're going to be safe, they're not going to rust, that's good news. So next time, uh, hopefully you're going to see me rebuilding these subframes with some aftermarket parts, which will look pretty cool as well as helping the, the car to handle and perform better um, but in the meantime thank you for watching this video that is where we're up to something i do need to tackle very soon is the underside of the body of the mini so for that i need a rotisserie spit so if anyone watching has a, uh, a rotisserie spit uh, a rollover jig for a classic mini please give me a shout especially if you're in the southwest of the uk um, that's something i really need to get my hands on so i can get the next part of the body sorted out 
Thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying it and you want to stay up to speed with the episodes that are going to come out shortly, please hit the subscribe button and drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the project. Let me know which direction you think I should go with it. What should I be putting on this car? Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.